Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the efforts of Team Bahrain Victorious in the Spanish Burgos Tour and the cyclist Santiago Bertrago's victory in the first round of the tour. His Highness noted that the victory in the first round affirms the team's high capabilities and reflects the successful march in European forums after recording many successes during the last stage. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the cyclist Santiago Butrago has high potential that contributed to winning the first round title, wishing the team continued success in the upcoming participations. The Minister of Education, Dr Majid al Nawemi, visited Mariam bint Omran Primary Girls School where he was briefed on the progress of maintenance. The Minister affirmed that the Ministry is continuing its preparations for the next academic year, 2022 to 2023, through the re rehabilitation and maintenance of schools. Dr al Nawemi noted that work is also underway on the comprehensive maintenance of 40 schools in different governorates within the periodic maintenance work, in which the Ministry is keen to provide the appropriate school environment for students and members of the administrative, educational and technical bodies. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning held a meeting with representatives of real estate development companies in the Kingdom. The Ministry's Under Secretary Sheikh Khaled bin Hamoud Al Khalifa and the Director General of the Housing Bank Dr Khaled Abdullah were present. The meeting was held to discuss providing housing projects that are suitable for the beneficiaries of the new housing finances. The Ministry confirmed that the partnership with the private sector is a priority for the Government, especially in the social housing option, which is embodied in the new housing finances that were launched. The Ministry added that the next stage will witness an expansion in the implementation of this programme and housing projects and other housing sites in various governorates of the Kingdom. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce revealed that 64 cases of commercial concealment have been referred to the public prosecution since the beginning of the commercial cover-up campaign in 2021, after 1,305 visits to shops were made. With regard to price manipulation, the number of control campaigns reached 32 for the various governorates of the Kingdom. The total number of failed visits was 2,421, while the number of complaints received by the Inspection Department was 1,203. Legal measures were taken against the violators of the provisions of Decree Law No. 35 of 2012 regarding consumer protection, and 27 stores were closed administratively following violation. The Ministry confirmed that it is currently working in cooperation with the Information and E-Government Authority to develop the third version of the commercial record system, Sigilath, with the aim of facilitating and increasing the speed of access and provision of services. The CEO of Government Hospitals, Dr Ahmed Mohamed Al Ansari, affirmed that the radiology department at Salmania Medical Complex completed over 7,255 examinations during the period from June 19, 2022 to July 31, 2022, with an increase in the number of completed examinations amounting to 58% last month as part of the implementation of mechanisms plan to reduce waiting lists. Dr Al Ansari added that the plan was launched last October as part of an integrated strategy to reduce waiting lists for health services provided by government hospitals across all their health institutions, with the aim of providing comprehensive and sustainable health care for all citizens and residents. Al Ansari stated that the increase in the number of examinations included various types of radiology services provided at the Salmonia Medical Complex. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomed the announcement by the United Nations Secretary General Special Envoy to Yemen, Hans Grunberg, to extend the truce period in Yemen for two additional months, in accordance with the terms of the initial agreement. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs lauded the efforts of the United Nations Envoy and the responsiveness of the Arab coalition to support legitimacy and the Yemeni parties towards these efforts which are aligned with the initiative announced by Saudi Arabia in March 2021 to end the crisis in Yemen through a comprehensive peace settlement. The Ministry affirmed the Kingdom's support for all international efforts aimed at reach a comprehensive and sustainable political solution to the Yemeni crisis, in accordance with the Gulf Initiative and its executive mechanism, 
The outcomes of the National Dialogue Conference and the UN Security Council Resolution No. 2216 in a manner that meets the aspirations of the Yemeni people for security, stability and development 